Hey guys, Dirt and Rust here. I got a few items to show you today. I got a, a hawkbill pocket knife, a garden scythe, um, I got a lockback pocket knife, um, large screwdriver, and a an old barbershop uh, straight blade to show you. So hang in there. Let's go. Here's the scythe. Nice big old blade on it. Uh, I do use this in the garden, uh, and it's very handy. If you got some uh, tall weeds, uh, very effective. It's old refurb project of mine. Pretty neat. No maker's marks, but just a neat old uh, relic. And I got this large screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. Um, this is a Globemaster, uh, number 2602. It's pretty beat up. There's the Globemaster on there. But it is still useful for me. This is, uh, actually I'd like to use this as kind of a crowbar or a prying bar. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's probably from mid 60s, 70s. I looked it up in uh, the Garage Journal website and they were saying it's probably from mid 60s to mid 70s as far as the age goes on this one. Made in Japan. Yeah, I got this Western uh, Utility knife here, Hawkbill, Western USA. It's got the liner lock, half stop. This one is was made from nineteen sixty one through nineteen seventy seven. Alright, and I got this one here. This is a lockback pocket knife I got a while back from Bro Gary. Garrison, thank you. I finally got around to cleaning this thing up. It looks pretty good. I like the wood handles. No maker's mark. Decorative. It's cool. Cool little knife. And I got the straight razor here. It says Harrington's Pet right here. And then on the other side, we have Milwaukee Barber Supply. Milwaukee Barber Supply Co. Milwaukee. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Hey, get out of there.